What is up the world of the living? My name is Lex and welcome back to Astronier Friends. I salute you by the <laughs> disjointed skull flag. Hello! Welcome to Astronier. I'm rocking my silver outfit today because today we'll be representing the Terran planet. That's right. Hello from Earth. All of the potential, potential other planets that we're gonna visit today because I had to have an idea. But first, allow me to show something. Check this out. Uh, turns out, if you are already dancing, and you pick up an item, <laughs> you just randomly are holding that item now, while still dancing. So, if you have something like this... <laughs> See? It just... It just spins. It just... They just keep doing what... Oh my god. Please tell me. Please tell me I can scratch my head with a giant flipping boulder. Alright. Scratching my head. Eh, doesn't really look as exciting as I was hoping for. Anyway, today we are on the Desolo, the moon of the Terran planet. And uh, we're here on an already fairly established base, you can tell. Uh, there are solar panels, which I started stringing out into a belt, I promised. Only to realize that I may have positioned this belt exactly not in orbit with the actual sun. Every other planet does have a situation where the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Or something like that, as far as I remember. But, Desolo is a moon. So its orbit is not around the sun, it's around Silva, the earth planet over there. Meaning that the orbit, the the sun will not set in the same location, or the world is not in the east and not in the west, uh, constantly here on Desolo. So this belt is entirely in a wrong uh, in a wrong direction and in a wrong spot, and that's not not even the worst part of it. You want probably to ask why is there even a belt? Because why would I want a planet a planetary base on this moon? What does this moon have that I don't on back on here, uh, back home? Except obviously for tungsten, but let's face it, we can keep this as a tungsten mining operation. But I also decided that to maybe create a research lab up here. You see, the research for this, uh, for the minerals found on Desolo are approximately twice as expensive as the ones I found back on silver. Uh, the silver ones are basically 400 to 600. These ones I've seen rank up to a thousand. And that got me thinking, does that apply to every single other planet? Because let's, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We open this one, look, a thousand a hundred just from one. Just because I already established here on infrastructure. That is much faster research and we will need research because right now, we got tungsten and we can unlock this chemistry lab up here. Boop. We can make one. And it will be great. It will be super useful. And uh, you know what? Atmospheric condenser? Yeah, whatever. Why not? Um, but the problem is that everything new we want to make with it, like this medium, medium rover here, will cost bytes. So why not establish a research lab on one of the more desolate planets somewhere in the end game territory hmm for example i don't know i know i don't know let's see galactopedia planets uh, silva desolo calido can i can i just skip to the very end atrox difficulty very hard primary resource none <laughs> secondary resource none gases helium nitrogen meth methane sulfur so i'm guessing this is where you would go to get, uh, to get a lot of gases uh, for any science projects. Description, choked atmosphere, aggressive flora, treacherous terrain, sun low, wind low, so basically no electricity promised. And you can tell the sun is low because of the, of the amount of clouds it has. Hmm. Yeah, let's go there. That sounds like a nice place. If things over here on Desolo Basically, on our backyard, are costing a thousand bytes per one. Imagine how much a research 
object from flipping a trucks will cost. Yeah, we're making we're making another shuttle. We're doing a space expedition. We are going to deeper space. But first, I actually want to go back to my uh, regular base and open up the chemistry set because if we go into desolate planet made out of toxic chemicals. I want to go there with good equipment made out of brand spanking new materials. Oh, and before I forget, there's a new thing we can make with uh, Wolfram. Kera uh, with uh, tungsten, with whatever the, me the metal is. Um, and that's here, the floodlight. See, in real life, uh, original light bulbs were made with Wolfram because it's like super heat resistant as far as I remember from school. And uh, that's that's what the little tiny bendy stripe inside of a regular light bulb is. It's Wolfram stringed into this tiny spring and it's just heated up to ridiculous, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous temperatures so that it glows. Now, obviously, right now it's uh, not even Wolfram anymore, it's actually some different kind of alloy and also nowadays uh, all of us have like LED lights which are much nicer and much better but I don't know what they're made of so <clears throat> anyway <laughs> this quick science this quick inaccurate science aside the Wolfram uh, the tungsten lights are actually super good they're very bright and they can be placed on any uh, surface just like everything else so we can easily just attach one to the ceiling even though we wouldn't want to because that gives us just one giant blob of light where i would very much prefer there to be a little bit of a tilt to it all right uh, eh, eh. maybe eh, close enough close enough close enough close enough this entire thing like and i keep trying to make this area nicer because this is my house this is my home but no matter what i do it is just such a rock tag operation <laughs> this is such a rock tag operation no matter how many platforms i make it's never enough anyway uh let's ditch the this thing for now and let's put our new chemist oh wait i, I have i have a spare platform it turns out let's unpack that instead okay chemistry uh, lab tungsten glass ceramic Fire me up. I just want to see for now what kind of materials it offers. And if, if it offers something really, really cool, then that would be very, very nice because then we can maybe create it and take it with us to the uh, desolate planets. Now, a problem with that is that most of the things I want are in these like last ones categories and even packaged. These things are too big to actually fit into my inventory. For example, this shuttle, no chance. But this one, made of aluminum alloy. Maybe we could upgrade. Maybe we could, we could make a new spaceship. <gasps> I actually found one aluminum alloy back on the Desolo. I lost it because I can't find my original spawn point. <laughs> uh, it's 3000 bytes, but we are slowly gathering, gathering research back on the moon. All right, it's fine. We'll see what aluminum alloy is made of. Probably aluminum and something else. And hey, look, I just have a piece of aluminum stuck under one of the platforms. So we're fine. We got plenty of the stuff. Let's see. Chemistry lab. Oh, oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's good. Let's see. Organic and resin gives me rubber, which is something I needed for cars. Carbon and compound gives me plastic. And carbon is just smelted, uh, smelted uh, organic. We, we can do it. Aluminum and copper is aluminum alloy. So that's actually fairly affordable. We can do this right now. Plop. Plop. So I just wait for this and I click the button. And how much power does it take and how much time do you want for me? Because this little moonshine apparatus is uh, sure looking complicated. Oh! Well, that didn't take long, long whatsoever. Shuttle, here we flipping go. Two ceramic and 3000 bytes. Fairly affordable, can't probably do that. We're going to a desolate planet on a brand new spaceship, everyone. And actually, now that I think about it, hmm, we can't quite get hydrazine, can we? Let's see, aluminum alloy, tungsten carbide, graphene, but we need hydrazine for that. Diamond, but yeah, two graphene. Ammonium, but the, that would require hydrogen gaseous fuel. 
which is something we don't have. That's probably what the atmospheric condenser is for. But two ammonium with some hydrogen, hydrogen gives me hydrogen, which is fuel for rocket space, spaceships. And that I need to keep in mind because this is a very useful recipe in the future. I want that stupid hydrogen uh, thruster. I am done wasting my time with the solid fuel ones. We got 4,000 bytes many moon days later. Just just wait, by the way, I'm pretty sure the moon stays loaded. Yep, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the sun came up. The mo moon is actively researching stuff while I'm dinking around here. But, 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 but let's, let's focus on what, what's important. What's important is we got enough bytes to fire up a medium shuttle. Aluminum alloy one, ceramic two, can afford, boop, please. And thank you. Uh, shelter is made out of silicon and plastic, and I don't remember. I don't remember how what silicon is made with, but I'm pretty sure I will not be able to make myself a shelter, or at least take it with me, because the the shuttles they can only yeah because of the capacity essentially. Oh wow, that's a sizable one. All right, medium medium shuttle. Let's uh, go. Uh, pl please let me out of the thing. <laughs> please, please. Please let me out of the um, interface. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where's my... Oh, crap. Where's my aluminum al al alloy? There it is. Grab this one, grab that one, F, and poop. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a big box. That's a big box for a big boy. <laughs> Let's, can I... I can't even carry it. Can't even carry it, not really. Like, see, this one, I can pick up like this. This one I can only pick up into my mouse and then slowly drag it. <laughs> Which is understandable, all things considered. This is not a shuttle, this is a spaceship. This is a flippin' juggernaut. Alright, let's... No. Let's set it straight and unpack it. And hey, look, I already have our oxygenator waiting for here. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, we got two th extra slots. For machinery, well, not machinery, but for for storage, essentially storage. So we can get two full inventories, and then we can get a third one because again the oxygenator trick still works. Ah, uh, nice to know, nice to know. I'll do need to make a new oxygenator though. Now, since this is a research mission, it's not a it's not a rob the planet steal. It's uh, rob the planet blind. It's just. Get there, look around, find some research objects, maybe research them. I need to prepare accordingly. So, I prepared here is uh, two compound and one resin. This is the recipe for, well, obviously, this is the recipe for the research station. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Two compound, one resin. Here it is. The research station, when already crafted, cannot be put together, uh, cannot be put into one of those storage units. So we're sacrificing three pieces of storage for one piece of equipment, which is better than sacrificing eight, because if we crafted the actual box, the actual box would take up the space of the entire thing. I don't know why I'm spending so much time explaining my flipping inventory management. I'm just super proud that I come up with something that seems clever. All right, guys, just let me have this. And also let me have another, you know, spare solid fuel thruster, because last time we got stuck on a planet without one. I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no random trips to any more random planets. This time around, we're only going one way and then right back. Which naturally brings me once again to the idea of power generation. Here's the thing. We do know that there is very low sun and very low wind. So I have crafted already. Two medium solars. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get two medium solars. We'll, we'll connect them. It will be okay. But, then you realize, sun low. We wouldn't want to get there without any power. And we can obviously just take our giant backpack of batteries with us. But I wouldn't want to lose it. And also, I wouldn't... Uh, like, they're gonna run out anyway. They're gonna run out. This is not enough to, uh, for, to research enough bytes for everything forever. So here's a question, how are we gonna power generate on a planet which, need to remind you, has mm -hmm, low sun, low wind, 
treacherous terrain, choking atmosphere, aggressive flora. And that's where there's actually, uh, I'm sorry, there's a there's a saying in Russian called Vod gde sabaka zarita, which is like what you say when you like figured something out. And uh, it translates roughly to that's where the dog is buried. <laughs> but so this is where the dog is buried, in the aggressive flora. Because plant matter can be converted using small generators. And if we smelt plant matter, we can get we can get power for the medium generator. Where it, where is it? Here it is. And just aluminum and tungsten. We got plenty of that. Well, I got some aluminum and a lot of tungsten because I was kind of power hungry. The only problem is we can't we can't really research. But we can probably just take some aluminum and tungsten with us. You know, do the most inconvenient bit. We can always craft it together on the spot. It's whatever. Okay, full rundown before we begin. Did I already attach the thruster? No, I did not. I did not. Here we go. Thruster. That's one. That's that's a thruster. That's a thing that we will use to actually fly off. Uh, oxygenator. I got it on me just in flipping case. Uh, got a small wind turbine, two uh, small solars. Uh, four gas canisters and uh, purple, purple pink terrain analyzer to kind of you know keep me company. Um, I got a whole medium storage worth of compound for base building. No, 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 no. <laughs> and I instantly drop and break it. No, uh, for base building purposes, I got a whole medium storage of resin for building base building purposes we got medium storage full of uh, research chamber in ingredients medium power generator in ingredients solid fuel thruster to the trip back and two medium solars because why not um i don't know everything is looking fine and dandy i don't think i'm forgetting anything that uh, i should probably get i probably am but this time this time my friends I will not forget the countdown. So, <sighs> mission to Atras. Three, two, one, lift off! I just realized I have no idea if Atrax is actually in, like, close enough <laughs> for me to be able to reach it. Probably should have launched myself from the moon or something to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get through the way. Okay, okay, okay. Is this that glacier that there is and fight? Kalidor Atrox. Yes. Sign in. Heavy difficulty, high risk, high rewards. Let's get going. And yes, we will not be awakening Atrox just yet. I will not be doing that. Holy cow. I cannot see. This entire planet is just clouds and mountains. It's amazing. I wonder, I wonder if I can climb over the over the cloud level once I land. That's something to try maybe someday. But even then I can see there's a slight outlook. Slight indicator of the Outposts of the teleportation bits. All right, this one Because I can't see anyway. I can't see anyway. Let's face it. This is flipping unbearable The cloud level is impenetrable to the human side, but hey It doesn't look too high up Maybe we will be able to get a solar uh, a solar power array going. Oh My hi, are you the treacherous fauna? I've been warned about how treacherous are you? Are you gonna kill me instantly? Why is it balls? Why is it rolling around? What is wrong with this planet? Okay, 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 okay. Keep it together, so keep it together. What are you? You are a thing. A spine lily seed. And spine lilies seem to be dropping research samples. Alright. So far, so good. But... Oh, hey, and we're, we're getting an extra free, whatchamacallit. Yeah, this is off to a great star and start. And look, even a small battery. That's what I forgot. I forgot to bring a small battery with me. Or any battery at all. I knew I was forgetting something. 
checkpoint. Why is that sparkly? Alright, we're right by our thing. If we die, it's fine. If we die, it's fine. I'm gonna drop everything I own before I go anywhere near that planet. Also, probably could already power up the oxygenator. I'm just saying. Um, zoop. Take out this one. Take Put this back in. Do you guys think? I just realized there might be sandstorms on this planet. Or just storms. Okay, what is this sparkly stuff? Oh my god! Okay, the spring lilies are just... Yeah, they just do this. This is a research sample. Already! It's just right there. It's... Okay, let's see. What is it? Organic. Yeah, 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 I figured. I figured. It's it's a plant. That They're called plants. Okay. Well then. Let me establish the most basicest of the basis of operation. And we'll get researching. I cannot wait. This is just a random research object that is right there, sitting alone in the middle of this planet. Let's see how much it's worth in bites. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Please tell me that this entire expedition was worth it and that I did not just fly to a <laughs> deadly poisonous planet <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Uh, this is not good. Oh, there we go. There we go. It was just, just a lighting glitch. I thought it, it was broken, but this little chunklet here has 1,800 bytes in it. And that's just a random rock I found on the ground. There is no doubt if I find something in, in the caves nearby, I will be able to. I will be able to get this. And we can do this. The most important part, we can do this. We can do the, this. How do I know that we can? Because, see there? That's compound. It's compound. Compound and resin are available on this planet, meaning that we can afford to make more research chambers, make more research samples, shove one into another, get stinking rich on bytes, just finally afford proper internet, that kind of stuff. The problem is, of course, power generation, but, you know, whatever. We will be able to... <coughs> we will be probably able to... You know what? Let's, let's screw it! Yeah, while you are over here, busy uh, and examining the research, research stuff, I wanna go sky high. I wanna just... Yeah. I mean... Can I just... Alt and... Oh my god, I can. Guys, we're going to space. We're going to space the fun way. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, right now, I feel just like such a pleb over here. Harvesting plants to provide electricity. Like, are you kidding me? This what is this caveman technology? <laughs> what is it? Do you want me to start a campfire? What the uh, actual what is this? Oh, a mineral. Alright, let's put let's pull it back. Um yeah, the current rate is 34 bytes, which is uh, not much, naturally. But uh we, we can't even that's the thing. We can't even really harvest the full power of the plant life either, because first and foremost, plant life, um, yeah, these generators, they will not produce as much as the big one, and we can't build the big one because we don't have enough bytes. And we will need at least uh, for this one to finish, then probably for this one to finish, and probably one more before we can unlock it. Naturally, once we unlock it, it's uh, entirely a different topic, a different situation. But for now, we're kind of stuck providing plant life from around the planet to these tiny ones. Which is, yeah, plant life starting to run out, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> we're running out of plant life, not on the planet, mind you. The planet obviously will be fine. But I'm running out of plant life I can reach without suffocating. And that's uh, gonna be an issue in just a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? Like, on a positive... I am definitely loving what this planet is. Like, I love how different this is right now. To the, uh, to the anything, to Desolo. Desolo was super friendly compared to this. And uh, the Silva, Silva is just 
out of out of the league. This here feels really impressive. Truly alien. I feel like such an explorer right now. Even though I'm still very much in my backyard. Eventually, essentially. Okay, I stepped out of the backyard, but I have not bought any groceries yet. I am just in the store, standing uh, at the door with a basket. Uh, this metaphor got super weird and super stupid. I... Oh my... What are you doing? What was that? Did... Did a plant just shoot me? Who gave plants guns? Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah, that that one plant. This flower here. Nope. No, you do not. Wait a minute. I can use it to mine stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll use another one to mine stuff. This one, I just want to rob with... The ah! A plant is throwing explosives at me. This is the weirdest thing ever. All right. Can I grab... Oh. I think I'm out of its range. Or the virus it can't really see me. Ah! Okay. And it dropped a seed. Meaning that mutant volatile at attack to speed. Seed. Attack to <laughs> I I know it's a plant, but Attactus is my spirit animal. <laughs> well, enough lollygagging. We wanted to go beyond the cloud level, the so reachable yet so distant cloud level. And I got myself one, two, three, four, uh, five, six canisters so far. And I'm ready to craft another one, and I'm ready to harvest even more resin to fill them up. So that will be pretty fun. Yep. Let's fill them up and get building. But before that, I found the large starship horn. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Okay. Alt and click. Wow, I was right. It's not gonna work. Because I'm a flipping idiot. Okay. Alt and now and ooh and ride it, ride it, ride it to victory! Don't you flipping change the surface on me? We have uh, two canisters of air to back us up, so that should still be enough. Holy poop! The clouds are way higher than I anticipated. Ah, uh, they are way higher than I anticipated, but we are going strong so far. Only one canister is empty. Out of all of the ones that I have. The air supply seems to be doing just great. Ah, there's the monolith, the monument, the whatever it is. I do not remember the proper name for it. What is that? What just happened? And why did it just happen? <gasps> did we do it? No way. No, we're inside the cloud level. That's why it's so, so dark. All right. Now, this is glorious. All right, just gotta power through the cloud level itself. And that's something I did not account for whatsoever. I entirely did not think that the cloud level will be thick. I thought it will be... Oh. Oh no, we made it. Those are the top. It's only dark because it's night. You eat it? <laughs> Uh, here I am trying to like show off all of my just basic logical knowledge of physics and astrology, but astronomy, but here we flipping now <laughs> only with only a canister of you know a small oxygen tank and a full oxygen tank left at the top of the world of oh, the beautiful beautiful what's its name I forgot the, the planet it's amazing and look it's the sunset all right look. So disclaimer, I knew that I'm going to die if I try something like this. I knew I'm going to die. That's why I felt safe enough bringing all this cool stuff with me. And hey, I forgot to activate the terrain analyzer. I should have made it pink. <laughs> I should have made it pink. Ah, it's not too late. There we go. Just a giant pink platform. For no good reason whatsoever. But look at this. Look at the sunrise. 
Look at the cloud level. A whole planet, a whole world will overlook it. Just by <laughs> shooting my dumb self into the sky. Okay. Here's a problem. Ain't a power code long enough to reach here. We would have to make quite a, quite a lot of extenders to even attempt to get here. But if we would, it would be so great to have a solar array up here. Because so high up, not only should the solar power be incredibly powerful, but on top of that, we should be able to... Um, harvest the sun energy for the long time for like most of the day because of the surface and elevation and that kind of stuff and just my logic just my thinking i don't know feel free to disprove me or anything but i'm running out of oxygen and i ain't dying to free living oxygen suffocation when i can die to fall damage look at that ah! <laughs> How am I alive? What? Wh what softened my fall? Is the gravity wrong on this planet? No, seriously, how am I alive? This should not happen. This is not how physics or people work. Okay, just for my own sake, this seems to be the uh, highest, the steepest slope I can still go on. So maybe we could really create a ramp all the way to the cloud level. And it might not, might not be viable, you know, extender-wise. But imagine the slidey slide all over this ramp. Eh? Eh? Yeah, it's gonna be worth it, one way or another. <laughs> oh, come on, move, you baby. You're only getting to the clouds. You will not believe it. My canisters with soil ran out right as we reached the highest top. We are just about the cl uh, uh, above the cloud level. And now the giant pink pillar is nothing because we have a giant ramp <laughs> to the cloud level of the planet. Can I actually slide it? <gasps> I can! Oh no! Wow, what a speed! Holy crap! <laughs> yeah! That's hasty! <laughs> if only I had like all of the extenders in the world, I would cr I would be able to actually go back and forth. That's That seems doable, that seems viable. I hate it. I hate it so much. Because now, because I know that it's doable, I will flip, not flip and rest until I figure out how to make it. And I don't want to spend all my time on this. After all, we were wanting to get the uh, medium generator unlocked. And we do have some other stuff, so let's see. This research item. From the mutant uh, Attactus. This research item from the mutant Attactus alone has 3000 bytes in it. Granted that we can provide electricity for this. We will be set for life. Okay, let's go. Medium generator. Boop. Boop. There we go. We had 5,000 bytes there for a moment. Just wanted to point it out. And look, 241 bytes with one. Just one research chamber. Is that not amazing? It is beautiful. I want more of these and I want a full research station out here on this planet. But it will take so much grind. I'm actually actively contemplating right now. If I should, probably just start streaming this game instead of recording it this much. Because recording it really takes a lot of time. And uh, who knows, maybe... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm absolutely brain farted. No, who knows, maybe streaming will be fun and uh, nice and cool and and hip and whatever all the kids are doing nowadays anyway medium into medium solar medium generator tanks and aluminum uh zoop please and you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking we should uh, put it somewhere right by this smelter and yeah that's the thing about medium generators they're weird look 
just logically. It's a generator that uses things to fuel your other things. It produces electricity out of plant matter, but the plant matter just can't go into the generator. It has to be first made into carbon, like this, refined organic. But the carbon is made using the smelting furnace. And the smelting furnace, well, <laughs> the smelting furnace <laughs> uses electricity. So, the generator is kind of a weird thing in that regard. It's not like a solution solution. It's just a little roundabout thingy that you get if you already have power, but you want more of it. But you will also need to get more of it. And none of that even matters to begin with. Because guess what? That's right. Organic needs to be harvested manually. So it's not an, a solution whatsoever. It is basically... A thing that is only useful in this specific situation when you are stuck on a planet that has no sun, no wind, and only the plants are your friends. And even the plants aren't your friends either because they will blow you up at the first opportunity. Alright, let's see. Uh, turn this off. Turn this on. Not much of a different scene. Oh, look. Okay, look. Look at this little here down there. By the cable plug. Without it, now with it. Eh? Nearly a quarter just from this one generator. I should have brought two. Should have brought two. But hey, I didn't know that compound is available on this planet. Honestly, I just expected a giant luscious jungle with no resources whatsoever. Just a total screw you planet. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now that we are powered up, we are... 240 bytes are rolling in I'm gonna get let's aim 50,000 and get off this planet for good Does it, there isn't even a reason to bring anything with me I could probably pack up several uh, especially expensive research samples and just research them back home do not worry I have devised the solution my friends and uh, the solution is pretty interesting the solution is pretty automated and it has to work because it, if, if it doesn't then I will be upset. Okay, uh, imagine you are bringing back a whole inventory full of organic. You unload it onto this medium storage here. And that medium storage will serve as our main storage unit for this smeltery. You see, smeltery has this property where it automatically moves stuff around. If on the platform with the medium uh, with smeltery, there is a medium storage, it will automatically feed that into the smeltery to kind of smelt it. And the smelted materials are automatically outputted over here. I was busy demonstrating something. Can you like hurry it up, <laughs> please? <laughs> Sun, wind. Forces of nature? Oh, whatever. You know what? Let's grab one and let's put here. Mm -hmm. And not really... Did not really speed it up that much. Okay. There we go. That's better. So, let's see. Will this carbon now automatically go into the... It obviously will not. Well, then... <laughs> Then this whole operation is utterly pointless because the the whole point here was to make this medium generator to automatically eat carbon as it runs out. If it does not, then what's the flipping point? I will have to manually put every single piece of carbon into the generator every single time. Game, are you kidding me? Are you deliberately trying to upset me? Is the question really now here's a question is it because that's just not the function of the carbon generator or is that because these two are not adjacent adjacent like if this medium storage was adjacent to the medium generator would then it feed into it hmm good questions Loy. thank you others Loy. We'll have to wait like half an hour before this particular bit of carbon runs out. Actually, it lasts, it lasts for quite a while. I'm, I'm thinking this will work. And now I come home and uh, my entire supply of carbon disappeared.
I am mighty confused right now. I'm guessing you have to like put one in and then it automatically eats them. Maybe not. I don't know. I am okay. I'm just gonna leave it be. We'll experiment with this type of generator sometime later. Right now, I just want to pack up my three beautiful samples. Uh, the, the mineral, the unknown, which that's not unknown. It's the root of the plant. It's organic. And the organic one. And to uh, kind of bugger off back to my home planet, let this one kind of be. That's actually one idea. Hmm. If we know that all contraptions of an astronaut are being loaded and like chunk loaded, no matter where you are, could we create a station in here with a very small power grid, like with a simple power grid, but with a giant grid of research chambers? We could probably load them all up with particular bits, activate all of them and just live home <laughs> and just let them process little by little, right? That does make sense. It's like an IFK farm. It's like, it's like it's there on this planet. I'm at home planet and they're doing their thing. Yeah, anyway, that's just a fun thought experiment. We'll not be doing it today because I am quite good on the money and I have way more research bits waiting for me that I will be just it will be faster to just research them at home but that is a thought to like hold till the next time we decide to research big and I refuse I refuse to ever research anything that wasn't found on this planet guys because this one is a winner and I want this one to be my main one for the research all right Terran, Planet Silva, honey, I am going home at last. Okay, that's the last one. Had to carry all three manually from the crash land site because turns out the top of my skull base is not a valid landing spot. Could have thought, uh, could have guessed, but I don't know how I didn't think about it. Okay, let's see. Our giant power grid uh, will chew through this through for this free in minutes but more importantly we have to see how many they bring this one is the mineral i found on the surface it is 3000 bytes this one is a plant thing it is one eight and this one is uh, 3000 it's another plant it's the mutated pew pew plant the attacktus one yeah go ahead uh that's a lot that's quite a number, and uh, it opens up quite a lot of possibility for what we can craft and make next time, which I want to sink my teeth in so hard. You have no idea. I want ev to try out every single piece of machinery in this game. I want to get everything done. I want to get everything tried. I want the biggest, baddest car train. On top of everything, so I'm just activating this one because I know we can make plastic and rubber. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all of that I think we'll be doing in the next episode. But, but, all of this actually reminded me about something I promised to do and entirely forgot. And that is send Steve to space. <laughs> Which luckily, Steve, come with me. Come with me, Steve. It's, I pro it's, 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 it's glorious. And please tell me you can see. Yep, you can just about see it. You see that between the trees, Steve? That is the little beacon signifying where I left my rocket. Next time we fly that rocket, Steve, you're coming with me. There's a nice spot in it for you. You'll be my first mate on that rocket, on that space flight. <laughs> but for now, I'm sorry. I have to leave you here. Longingly staring at it. <laughs> Oh, wow. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try out more stuff with the chemistry lab. And uh, maybe finally get into gases and all that kind of stuff. But for now, that's going to be it for today. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This has been Slay XP. This has been Astroneer. To be continued, have a good one. Bye-bye.